So overall, after you have done all of this, you should have full honor gear. You should have two set. You should have one crafter piece with ideally your best embellishment that you can get. Try to get the best one that you can. And you should have, if it's cheap enough, one piece of world PvP or bloody token gear. Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Mystical. I am going to be answering a question I keep getting. It is the first week of the season. People want to know how to gear quickly. So I'm going to show you how to get as much gear as possible in the first week and maybe even the second week, depending on the class, what set you use. And with that said, let's jump right into the video. First off, when you log in, you're gonna be using last season's gear. You're gonna to wanna to immediately replace everything. Your, every single piece of gear that you have, tier set or not, doesn't matter with honor gear. The honor gear now scales up to 515 in PVP. I think last season was 489 for the conquest. That's what, 26 item levels right there. So you're gonna go, wanna go ahead, if you don't have honor, and you don't have any alts with honor because remember if you have anything with honor you can send over honor with the glorious medal of honor if you don't have that and you're just on a fresh tune or you have no honor at all that's fine do battlegrounds and your honor is pretty quick also bg blitz is pretty freaking insane and starting this patch bg blitz now counts towards vault so if you want to kind of hit two birds with one stone you can Farm honor with doing a uh, battleground blitz. And then also you can cap out your vault really quickly with that. You'll need about 11,000 honor to get a full set of gear, but at the end of it, it shouldn't take too long, maybe an hour or two. Now that you have full honor gear, you're gonna wanna come over to this person right here in the PvP hub. This is Valdraken, Valdraken. You're just gonna come over here. You're gonna get all of the weekly quests from this NPC. And what this is, is they're gonna offer a bunch of weekly quests that you're gonna to wanna to complete, as well as this one right here, that's gonna give you the World PVP weekly quest. You're gonna to wanna to complete that ASAP. It's gonna give you eight trophies, some bloody tokens, I believe, some conquest. And the goal of that is to get bloody tokens, and that way you can buy gear. So this is bloody token gear, but if you're gonna get trophies after you complete the quest, you're gonna to wanna to go to Militia right here. Go to her, and you're gonna be able to exchange these trophies that you got and blade tokens for pc gear so for me personally as a misweaver and for any cast of misweavers out there i would recommend farming some up and then getting the offhand because next week you'll be able to get the the trophy quest again and you'll be able to buy the verse mastery main hand which is kind of nice it's 525 and this gear is 525 so i bought the offhand this week Next, we'll get the main handless first mastery. I believe rogues as well. I think that they go for like weapons or whatever. I'm not really too sure, but there are some, there, there's some good gear in here as well. So take a look at what gear you have, what stats you want. There's, this is a slightly lower item level, but they have really good like uh, secondary stats. So depending on your stat, your, what your stats, what you want, it might be worth to just do the quest and get some early gear as fast as possible. Once you've done the, your world PvP weekly, you're going to have another weekly to do, and it's going to be the PvP weekly. I believe for PvP, it's 1500 honor in raided battlegrounds or epic random battlegrounds, or you can do the weekly lost, last hurrah dragon isles. So you're going to see the quest that's going to show this. So it's, it's called the weekly awakened activity. When you complete it, you're going to get a spark that allows you to craft gear. So you're gonna to want to do want to do one of those weeklies. You only have to do one because it's the first week. You can only get one. So you're gonna do that, and what that's gonna allow you to do is it's gonna allow you to craft or recraft a piece of gear. For Mistweaver, you're gonna you're gonna to want to craft precog. That's the first thing I I always craft, and I don't know why I always craft it on boots. It's probably more worth it actually to craft it on a ring for the better secondary stats, but for some reason I've always crafted on boots. So I put it on my boots, but again, put it on any slot you want. And no matter what class you play, you get a spark. I would craft something, uh, whatever your best embellishment is. Do that and you now have a 528 piece of arena gear. I almost forgot to mention that when you do these PVP activities like random battlegrounds, arenas, uh, epic random battlegrounds, you're gonna get a box. And when you open up the box, you're gonna get a quest. This quest is, really simple you're gonna click it you're gonna accept it and you're kind of gonna come over to this vendor right here and what that does is it allows you to get some trophies and these trophies are important because this allows you to upgrade any crafted gear to 528 item level as long as you're using the most recent spark so this is just a they're giving you blizzard is literally giving you a free piece of gear you're going to do the spark weekly quest and you're going to get these free trophies so you're immediately able to get a piece of 528 gear uh this first week 
Finally, if you're not patient and your two set is really good, Miss Weaver is really, really good. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to just cap your conquest bar. You get 1350 conquest this week. It's 50, it's 550 cap after this, but we got a big cap this week. And what I did, if you want two set, or if you're not patient like me, you're going to buy a piece of gear. So I bought my helm. And that's my one piece. And then when you hit 1600, so if you get 1600 rated, you get a token. And what this token allows you to do is it allows you to buy a piece of PvP gear. You're going to come over to here in Valdraken and you're going to go into the parting glass and this vendor right here. And you're going to make sure you buy the correct piece because both PvE and PvP is on this vendor. Make sure you please buy the PvP gear, please. It is the right hand side here. You'll see that it's, you know, Increase on level to 528 in Arena and Battlegrounds. And I, personally, buy either the helm or the legs, depending on if you know, the stats on the gear that you want. Those are the more expensive pieces right here. Uh, you want to get it for free. You want to save as much Conquest as you can. So that allows you to get a tier piece, and you should now have two set. After you convert the piece you bought from the Conquest vendor, and you use your token at 1600 to get the second piece, you now have two set on your character. So overall, after you have done all of this, you should have full honor gear. You should have two set. You should have one craft a piece with ideally your best embellishment that you can get. Try to get the best one that you can. And you should have, if it's cheap enough, one piece of world PvP or bloody token gear. And you have one, two, three, four epics this week, which is pretty good. It's pretty solid. It's a good start to the season. It's a good first week. Of course, if you want to wait until the second week or your first vault, you can to see if you get lucky from the vault on either weapons or conquest. Personally, as Mistweaver our two set is too good. I don't do any healing really without it. So I went for two set as fast as possible. But if you're more patient than me and you want to wait till first of all, that is perfectly fine too. I just want to give you what I am doing this week for gearing just so you know there's no confusion or anything. And of course, enchant your gear. Please enchant your gear. If you have any questions at all, please let me know. I am more than happy to answer any questions you might have. And that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you later.